Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Um, or to grow grapes and olives. I would assume that it, you've got to sort of plant them and then it takes a while for them to grow and they don't just grow in a season. So if that's the, um, maybe you've got to do something special with fields to get them to grow. I really don't know. So that's going to be quite interesting finding out that on its own. And I haven't, I've definitely not looked into that at all. And I've got no intention of looking into that either. I don't want to know until I get on the map and I start playing it. So that's going to be quite good fun. And we've got all the new machinery that we can go and try out and... The likes of Stevie and some other modders, they tend to put out the small modifications on machines pretty quickly. And the great thing about those small modifications on machinery, even if some of them decide that they're not going to do that and they don't really want to play the game anymore, whatever, um, if, if that's how it is, there's, there's going to be some mods turning up straight away. Which means... Because I don't know how to create a mod from the base game. There is a way to do it where you can take one of the machines and then you can turn it into a mod so that you can chop and change things. But I don't know how to do that. And I have tried a few times, but I have never been successful with it. So I wait for someone else to produce a mod and then I can tweak the mod. So I can just wait for a few of the early mods to be released. And if it's a mod, it's perfect. Because then I can go get into the XML file. I can even go into the Giants editor and change the appearance of it a bit, although I'm not very good. With the Giants editor, I can change working widths and things like that. So I could change the slurry width on it on here, which you've got to do in Giants editor and not just in the XML file. That's a quite a simple tweak. Uh, changing the map itself is fairly... If it's basic stuff, I can do it. Um, you just need the map ed... You need the Giants editor again. Um... So I can sort of do some of these things. I just can't do all of them. Right, you are going to go over there. And we are going to go over this way. I tell you what, let's unload this one. So we want to transport position like this. And then we go Y like that. And then Y again, which unloads without... Because I haven't moved them anywhere. And then Y again, which allows it to sort of just prepare itself for the transport position or whatever it does. And then these will come over here and we can unload them. Uh, so, with 22 getting onto the American map, I am fully expecting to do some crazy things. Really looking forward to doing crazy things with new content, with new machines and stuff like that. So we get mods turning up. I am absolutely planning on taking a new small muck spreader mod that turns up on the mod hub or something like that and then altering it so that I can run around with 100,000 litres in it. But you do have to be careful and this is something that I'm starting to really appreciate. In the early versions of the game, if you increase the capacity of the machine, it was quite easy and you didn't have to worry too much about it. With this now, if I was to increase the capacity of that muck spreader over there to 200,000 litres, the weight of the machine would be so severe the tractor wouldn't be able to move it. So it does actually take into account the weight of the stuff on board as well. And I actually quite like that. It does give a little bit more of a challenge to altering the mods and sort of tweaking them to how I would like them to be. So that's something that I'm quite looking forward to seeing what we can do and I'm gonna push the limits of the game that's what I like to do I'm currently playing a game called Timberborn it's only just been released it's out on Steam it's just come into early access I know early access is not for everybody um, but I'm already pushing the limits of that game and what it can do and it's so much fun I really like pushing what a game can produce so, yeah, there'll be a hardcore series that's almost certainly going to be on the Erlengrat map still. And I'll stay there until we've got something else. But I'm taking on board, as I said, a lot of the criticisms and that that people have leveled at me be 
due to what I've been doing on the map and so on, and valid criticisms. It's not just, you know, people complaining. They are valid criticisms, and I'm taking them on board, and I'm going to do something about them. Um, this is why I like criticism, because you can't improve without it. I, if I don't know what I'm doing wrong, I can't do anything about it. And, okay, Jay has stopped working. Let's go back over and see Helper Jay. You stay there a minute. And I'm go to you. All right. He does work reasonably quickly, but we still... We don't carry very much, do we? There is a tweak that I could do, and it... Basically, it tells you how fast you use up the stuff on here. If I set that down to, like, a quarter of what it does at the moment, then the 20,000 litres would go a lot further. Um, I'm not going to do that at the moment, though. I don't think we need to. We are... What are we doing? I'm trying to sort of... I've reduced the number of uh, extra videos that I've got available at the moment. So I'm making videos for about the beginning of October. And I would guess we've got maybe five weeks left. Something like that. So I'm not going to worry too much about big tweaks on the mods and that. We're just going to kind of push. And I think we will go for more cows here. Now... I modded, what did I mod? Did I mod, I'm not sure if I actually changed the map or if I, I think I changed something else. There was, yes, I remember now. There's a line of code that you've got to add in and you can put it, you can literally put this line of code into any mod you want. And I think I did explain this already. There's a hard limit on the number of cows that you can have in a pen, and in order to be able to increase that hard limit to something higher, you've got to add in this line of code, and you can dump that into any mod you want. It doesn't matter what mod you put it in, so long as it's there on a mod somewhere, and then that will alter the hard limit on the number of cows you can have in a pen. So that's how we've managed to get this pen here with the ability to have a whole load more cows. And that's what I shall be, that's that's the kind of thing that I want to be doing in the next game as well. I want to push the limits of what the game can do. Um, but for this one, I think we want to push more cows now. We, we've got plenty of land, we're doing alright with that. You, oh, actually no, I was going to go and hook that one up over there, that's why it's still running. Um, we've got a nice big chunk of land over here, we've gone and expanded that out a bit, and we gonna want some more there but I just don't know when we shall do that so let's reverse you up on here like that and pretty sure we cannot at the moment go and sell this because the barley is low yes it is low so you stay there a minute and I will go to this one while that much spreading is still going on uh Bailing is actually going to be done over the other side first. Um, so I'm wondering if I should drive this tractor back. I think I will. We'll put the rake over here. What I'm likely to do next for this side is we're going to want some more silage. We've got hay now, so I think a crop of silage, and yeah, I probably shouldn't go quite so fast around the corners with that one, and if we go and have a look in here, we've got 320,000 hay, and we've got 178,000 silage, so we want silage next, we'll be able to gather it up with that crone over there, although I do wonder if we could do, no we can't. Ooh. Right. I was wondering if we could gather up the grass in bales. Now, we can go and bale grass, and so we could move it like that, in theory. But what I want to know is if... Let's go to Global Company. The fermenting silo right here. This one right here. Will it take bales? I don't think it will. I don't think you can put bales in it. But if you could, that would be so cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let me just... Uh, we'll get rid of that a minute. And then we will go into the 
garage in here because we're going to be doing this next anyway. That's going to be the next crop that we do. So we've got the, the bunker silo large right there, and I want to sell that one. Yes. Right, that's gone. And I can go back into here. We can go to global company, and it's the fermenting silo that we want to buy. So we've got the pad already made up from where we had this previously. I need to rotate that round, but actually press and hold C, and then uh, just keep tapping the sideways key the directional keys and then you can move it on around so this one here deformation of the terrain failed that's because it's sticking up slightly isn't it right how do i raise an oh uh control e control q so that lowers it down deformation i haven't tried to deform it oh i how far out do I need to deform the terrain? Huh. Well, this isn't going well. Why aren't you working? Have I got the place anywhere active? All right, let's climb out of here and then we go there. So we've got a global company right there. If I go left control G like this, uh, we've got settings over this side. I've got the horse helper, I've got the show object info and I've got activate extended placeable right there. So I've got that one on which should allow me to go and put down this silage thing. Fermenting silo. Why can't... Huh. Oh. There, it doesn't like it. Here it's fine with it. What about if I... Yeah, that's absolutely fine with it there. So it's not the terrain itself. It's something here. There's an area that is marked. Ah. It's a mystery. Right, well, let's... Rotate that one round, because I want it facing in this direction. I'm just not quite sure now where I'm going to be able to put it. So that's lined up straight there. Said to me just now that I, I can put it there. I can actually drop that one all the way back over there. I'm unable to put it here anywhere, so... Ooh. I wonder why it doesn't like it in the middle of the silo. Maybe there's something in the silo still. Could be. Right, we'll put one there to start with. Ah, now it's working. Put one down, I can put the next one in. I'll put one there as well. Okay. Let's go and have a look. I don't know why that wasn't working properly, but it's now worked. I've got these put in, and they look like they're the same height here as well, which is good. If I go into it in here, it's just got a percentage, so I don't know what the overall percentage is in here. Input is bulk materials. Don't know if we can go and put bales in there or not. We will have to find that one out. There's nothing that I can do about those at the moment. So let's go over here. I don't want you. I'm after this tractor here. We've finished doing that bit. I got 8,000 litres of slurry left. So we will go and top up once more. And then we can run this over to the final grass field and put a bit of slurry out on that one. And then while that one is spreading that field, I can get the baler there and run it back down to the main farm because we'll have another round of baling to do when the combines are running. 
um, with the oats. And that's going to be the last of the baling that we'll want to do. Well, we, probably the last of the baling that we'll be able to do full stop. I can't see us being able to do any more. So with the play around on the new game, I'm thinking I'll run it a bit like this, only we will have all of the animals, apart from the horses. I don't really want the horses. Um, we'll have the, the chickens, the sheep, the pigs, and the cows. I don't know how they will run, but we'll try and put everything... We'll, we'll try and do everything. And we will have easy settings for money and stuff like that, just because um, it's going to make life easier. Uh, the Hardcore series, that has hard settings, and then the Time Lapse series, that has normal settings. So I've got a sample of everything all the way across the board. The, um, the crops, I'm kind of thinking that I would like to cycle through them. Now... That's going to be difficult, and I am going to want some mods to help us out with some of it, because things like growing poplars, if I'm going to do a poplar harvest across all of the land that we own periodically, that's going to require a substantial amount of work and income. Um, to get the machinery ready for it. I mean, we'll have, we've got the Anderson DLC machinery for that. So the Anderson DLC, I think it's the Anderson DLC, um, the, the basic machinery from that one, we've got that round baler. That one's going to be in there. So we'll be able to round bale the wood chips. That whole system is going to be in there. And we will have um, the just the, the normal poplar harvesting that we could do as well. So we can do some of it with the round bales. We'll be able to do some of it with normal poplar harvesting and some trailers and running those up and down. So it's going to be an interesting challenge to do stuff like that. And then there's obviously there's the grapes and the olives. So, you know, what's going to be involved with planting the entire map with grapes so that we can then do a grape harvest and then move on to whatever the next one on the list is. Uh, th there's going to be a series of challenges that we're going to have to accomplish in order to be able to change the entire map to various different crops. And I think that's going to be fun. That's, that's going to be an, an enjoyable thing to go and do. So, nope, I'm not going to get bogged down on, oh, well, we can't really go and do it like this because that's not strictly realistic. I don't care. I, it's, it's not realistic to have a baler that bales up 20,000 litre bales, but I'm doing it on this series and I'm thoroughly enjoying myself doing it. So, yes, there'll be some people that won't want to see it. That's fine. There are other series I do that you can watch, or there are other YouTubers who do things slightly more realistically. Um, I'll be sorry to see you go, but that's how it's going to be. Um, because, yeah, I've I've spent I've spent a lot of time and effort trying my hardest to please as many people as I can, and yeah, generally it doesn't end up working out very well for any of us. Like I I get burned out from the game. I don't like playing it. Um, and yeah, and and. Well, like, I, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do it how I want to do it. Um, but I am really looking forward to this. Like, all the crops and stuff that I've been seeing, the just the just the machinery, because I've, I've really been working hard not to allow myself to see any of the stuff before I get the game. And I know that when I start releasing videos of FS22... Uh, if it's anything like the previous version, I'll be releasing videos probably a good week before it's launched. Um, it might not be. The Giants may decide to run things differently. They may even decide that they don't want me having a copy. In which case, I'll have to wait for a, a regular bought copy like everybody else. Which, if that's how it's going to be, that's how it's got to be. Um, but I'm really, really hopeful that I will get an early copy and I could be producing videos up to a week in advance, maybe more. I can't remember how far in advance I was doing it last time. And I'm going to be able to get stuck right in. Uh, you know what? Let's stop the hired help here. I'm surprised. I thought we would finish this field. Apparently we're not going to. Um, 
so being able to get started on it I am genuinely looking forward to this and with growing excitement every time I see the, the new list of machinery that's updated with the Friday fact sheets uh, there's more and more stuff being talked about and released and it's just looking better and better all the time and yeah I, th I think this is going to be great I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic playing with all this stuff it's going to be awesome um I don't know what I want to do first. This is the thing. There's the stone picking mechanism that I want to have a look at. There's small bales and the small bale collection equipment. At least I think it's small bale collection equipment from what I can see. Um, that looks brilliant. Oops. I'm not picking up milk with this one, am I? I'm, I'm picking up slurry. Political promises. Over here. There. I like that in that was something that it was on a tanker in FS17 I had a tanker that when depending on the liquid that you put inside it the um, the skin on the tanker changed and it was really cool because like the milk it had it had some really good artwork on it as well you picked up milk and you had um, it wasn't just milk written on the side or a different color. You had all you had some nice designs on it and and on the back as well. So you went and picked up milk. You had one thing. Um, if you put water in, it was another thing. If you picked up slurry, you just had this big slogan: "Political promises." And it's absolutely. I, I do get uh, Upsala has a Markstead in particular, someone who comments on a lot of videos. Always appreciated. Um, he does mention this one every so often. It's one of his favourite episodes, he said. It was seeing that tanker for the first time. It was one of his favourite moments on my channel. And I really like it. And I was disappointed I didn't see a mod with it. I mean, there probably is a mod out there. I'm not particularly good at um, chasing down and hunting for mods all the time. Um, but I would very much like to see that in FS22. I want a tanker early on that has political promises on it that is emblazoned on the side whenever I'm handling slurry of any kind. In particular, I, I kind of like one maybe a little bit bigger than this. I mean, this suppose it doesn't have to be bigger than this, but a slurry spreader. If we could have a slurry spreader with political promises written on the side, then that could sort of be our go-to machine that we use all the time. And we can go and spread political promises on the fields on a regular basis. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic. I really like that. I mean, that's, that's probably fairly unlikely, but that is one of my dreams for FS22, is that I get a vehicle, I get a, a slurry tanker that allows me to transport political promises. That would be amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm actually thinking that we'll leave the baler up here because we want to run a test up here and see if we can dump uh, green, green grass from bales into our silage fermenter. Now, I don't actually know if I can put hay in, but I can't do anything with the hay. So we'll keep this one up here. And then when the mowing starts... We can sort of make make just make a start on that and then bring you over here like this. You can stop there. Right. Yeah, if we can test one bale in the fermenter just to see if it will accept a bale. If it does, that means we can just bale up the silage. It will bale up the grass into bales, pick it up with the trailer, bring that over and dump it in, and that say we can cut out that middleman over there of the Crone Collection Agency. Um, the only thing I got left to do is to finish spreading this, and then we can fast forward time. So if we let's just fast forward time a little bit because it doesn't matter, and we want to be watching the barley prices. The top barley price is twelve fifty eight. So. That's 125, which basically means I want 1,125-ish for the minimum price that I'm willing to sell barley for, because 10 within 10% of the highest price we've seen. 
That's that's my cutoff point. So like oats, for example, two thousand one hundred and forty-six. I can go two hundred and fourteen below that, which is uh, one thousand nine hundred and thirty-two. Which we've got a price right there at the restaurant. So, I mean, that price is not going to hold until the oats are ready to cut. But, in theory, we have the price right there that we could go and use. If we wanted to. Okay, you're done. Helper G has completed their task. We will run this one back over to the yard. And this one can be parked up. And then we just got to wait for... Uh, crops to grow. That's, that's all we're waiting on now. Is we, we've got to spend a couple of days waiting for crops to grow. So I've got 53,000 euros at the moment. Is there anything I want to buy in particular? I don't think there is. In which case, we could just buy more cows. I could just spend that. I've got 62,000. So what I'll do is if I just wait now... I'll bring this one over here. I'm just going to park it up, roughly. Here we go. Right. You can stop there. I've put everything else away. It's all in the sheds. It's lo looking neat. Oh! I only have one combine. A second combine would be useful. That would probably help us along a little bit, but... I'm still going to buy a few more cows, so let's just slow that down again to this, and then we'll go in here. So at the moment, we have 118 out of 3,000 cows over here. We are brown and whites. Brown and white cows right there. I would like to buy 71,000 euros worth. So I'm just going to buy cows until I've got 71,000 euros spent down here. There we go. That's as many as I can get. So now I have 144 cows. So we will confirm that. 65,000 in new livestock. And then I'm going to go into the map. I'm going to go home. And I'm going to sleep for the night. I'm going to go right there. I get the longest possible sleep that I can. Bit cloudy overnight, that's fine. We don't worry about that. It's going to be very interesting playing the new version of Seasons as well. I'm quite looking forward to seeing how Seasons is going to work in the base. The whole thing is built into the base game, which is another thing that I'm really excited about. I'm, I'm really interested to see how they have worked it, how they've put Seasons into it. Okay, so that one's dropping. Oh, wow. 1,224 is just uh, 258 so that's 34 below the highest price i've received right it might start to drop i 10 o'clock is when i go and sell stuff you know it's not going to drop very rapidly between now and 10 o'clock so we're going Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.